Um, I have actually had a lot of requests from this, especially on my other channel, not that much on this channel, but um, I have a, had a lot of requests for um, like how long it takes for stick and set eggs to hatch. So um, I have two species of stick and set eggs at the moment. I have Indian stick and set eggs and Maclay stick and set eggs. Um, so I have one maclay that has been just laid and one maclay that laid about six or seven months ago i do have some nymphs from that now and um hopefully in the future i'll still have some others because some are from different stick insects because i'm more than one at the time but i'm just going to talk you through different species and different stick insects and how you can make them hatch quicker and how you can make them hatch more naturally so yeah i'll get right in so, um, this is Buddy, if you didn't know, he's been on a lot of my videos on my other channel, but these are my three boxes of stick and set eggs, so these are the um, Indians, so um, I don't actually know when these are going to hatch because I don't know when they were laid, because um, I've given them. These are the ones that were laid, first laid on Christmas Eve, and these are the ones that I'm expecting some more hatchlings soon. Um, but there's only about eight more eggs in here. In here, there's about 15. Um, I do have a female that's just finishing up laying eggs, so she will not be around too much longer. But um, especially in um, the clay stick and set eggs, um, these do prefer a hot, a warmer um, environment because obviously the clay stick and sex do pretty much all originate from Australia. Um, so that is basically the temperature that we'll be getting. Australia is a hot place. Um, so these do prefer something like a heat mat. I wouldn't say a heat bulb, um, but definitely a heat mat. I use a heat mat. That can speed up the process of the hatching, but they can still hatch without any heat. Um, on the other hand, um, Indian stick insects, in the name, they come from India. Again, they do... Um, come from a warm environment but these guys again can survive without the heat um another um good idea for keeping stick insects and keeping the eggs is maybe just put them on a shelf above the radiator if you don't want to spend some extra money um because that will work they don't need it it's just a preference basically um so yeah that is those eggs um, they do need spraying around every day to every other day. The humidity does need to be up. And the trick that I use is the tissue inside here, these have just been sprayed. Um, the tissue inside here, once it's dried up, you spray it again. Which, if there's any humidity on the top, that doesn't normally, like, it's it sometimes puts me off spraying them because I think it's really moist in there. But sometimes you need to spray the tissue because that bit counts. Um, that did not make sense to do. Never mind. <laughs> um, and also, if you have any mould on the um, tissue, you do need to take the tissue out because mould can kill off your eggs. Um, some will survive, so if an egg, if mould starts growing on an egg, don't touch the egg away. If it's short, if um, you catch mould on the egg shortly after it started growing, you can just wipe it off. Um, the egg most likely will survive, but if it's been on there for weeks, months, the egg won't be alive. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video, actually. Um, I will just put those back. Oh, there's one more thing. Um, these are my nymphs, my two nymphs. I did have three. I mentioned this in my all of, well, most of my animals video. Did have three, but one of them didn't take to eating. That is a natural thing that you will get if you're hatching animals. Some will not survive. But um, I can't remember who's which. One was called Jonathan, which my friend named, and the other one was called Bramble, hence why they eat Bramble. Um, so yeah, these are my two nymphs, Maclay Stick Insects, or Maclay Spectre. You could call them Spiny Stick Insects, Prickly. There's so many names for these guys. Um, they do send out a musty smell, so um, do be aware of that. It's normally when they're threatened, and when they are threatened, 
I'm going to bring the back of their body up and look and pretend they're a scorpion to send off predators. Um, I will do a um, care video on these soon. But, um, so I will do a care video on these soon. But if you want that, comment down below. And if you want any other care videos, also comment down below because I will do it. Um, I'll just put these down here. Buddy, you stay there. So, yeah. So if you did like this video, please like, subscribe, comment down below um, what videos you want me to do next. Any questions that I can answer with my reptiles or any other reptile that I probably have kept. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on the notifications bell, then you can get every single video I upload. Um, so next time, maybe your questions will be answered. So definitely do what I just said. I don't want to sound like I'm um, cheating. But, you know, do that. Bye-bye.